Alright. So I got like... Rather... Spent like uh, around... Two... Two and a half hours. Around, I think. Yeah. If my math is correct. Two and a half hours. To get about uh, eight... Well, about 9,000 bits, I guess. A little bit less than that. 8,920 bits, to be exact. It's a fair bit, I think. Uh, I don't know if it's still enough, though. But I guess we'll just start buying three of everything. Oops, not 99 of everything. That's a lot. I guess. And after I buy all these gifts, I'll start, well, pursuing friends, actually. And usually you would pursue them within the, the, the main playthrough, but again, I save them until the very end because it's uh, it's more time efficient, I guess, to do so. Better to wait near the, near the end because you're allowed to, like, you know, just collect them all after you, I guess, beat the game, quote unquote. That's what I'm doing right now. There are a lot. Uh, there are a lot of gifts. A bikini. Who would want a bikini? I don't know. Someone does, probably. Oh, I got a lot of chocolate already. I got three of everything. I got five. Oh well, around five thousand nine hundred bits to bear. Uh, to spare rather. To bear. I guess, uh, I guess I'll save again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Around, around 11 hours in this game already. That's because I read everything out loud. But anyway, I guess, uh, who do we start? I guess, well, go down the list. So just go to the mad scientist kitty. Interested in my experiments? Yes. Okay, what does he like though? He likes muscles, right? Kind of weird. It's weird flavors and shapes and muscles. So there's a gift for that includes something about muscles. Weird, weird shapes. I don't know what a weird shape would be. I don't know. That's very subjective, isn't it? Hmm. Where is it? Uh, oh. Muscle protein. You, you like that, right? Here you go. You. You thought I would be pleased by such things because I'm always going about muscles? You are correct! Yeah. Oh, but I didn't get any dialogue, so... Hmm, this probably takes more than that. I'll just give you another one. Hmm. Wow! You're deep in thought. What the heck happened? No, I thought it... it ugh. No, I have thought it from the first moment I saw you! That you would be a great test subject! Well, what makes me a good subject, exactly? Whether well, they can handle side effects of medicines! You could easily swell to double the size and be fine. We're gonna get swole? Okay, what exactly do you do to a test subject? Hmm, first I cut them up as I please. Then I make them drink medicine as I please. Then I observe as I please. Should I not do anything in the meantime? <laughs> do what you will once I've cut you up, fed you medicines, and observed you. But I can't guarantee you'll be in full working order. <laughs> but you don't usually mess up, right? <laughs> Failure is the mother of success! <sighs> um, I only have one life, you know, so I'm a little reluctant to help. Hmm... Then your limbs! No, just one arm will do. Can you lend it for uh, lend it to me for a bit? <laughs> There's no guarantee I'll get it back, so... Ugh, There's nothing for it. So, uh, Kiri, what are you researching? <laughs> you want to know? Muscles! He really loves muscles. Muscle World Annihilation! Um, hustle. Yes, yes. Muhaha. <laughs> He's crazy. 
So for the moment, I'm researching and creating medicines to serve that purpose. Oh, so I could help you make medicine. Mm hmm. Do you have a wealth of knowledge regarding chemicals and muscles? Ah, uh, I know that. Graduated cylinder is one of the most unpleasant sounding words I know. If you insist, I will have to. Oh, I will have you on as my assistant. <laughs> this time I shall succeed, and the world will be mine. Uh, how much stuff have you de developed so far? Uncountable amounts, but most of them do not augment muscles to the degree I desire. Is there a miraculous medicine among them that only melts girls' clothes? Well, Nanashi. I won't say there isn't. There is? But when the clothes melt, their muscles are also augmented. <laughs> okay, too bad. But with you as my assistant, I will work you to the bone. Prepare yourself. I'll hustle some muscle. And I guess we're his assistant. Does this say anything different? I, I think it does. It will continue research toward my great ambition. I didn't really check those. Uh, that, I guess. I don't know what you call it. Just one liners. You get like a line. You talk to him like generally. Not really like a uh, progress towards his friendship events. But anyway. I should have given. I have, I have more muscle protein. I'm, I'm feeling like maybe I don't have enough stuff now. I was thinking like three is enough, but then maybe he needs other stuff. These friends. Uh, something strangely shaped. I don't know. Let's give him another muscle protein. Late. Late! How long do you mean to make me wait? Huh? Did I make any appointments or promises? You did not! I thought so. Gosh, you scared me. Now, we must begin development at once! Ah, uh, my body aches with a s excitement. All of this stuff looks so shady. What's it made of? Trade secret! <laughs> That's sort of scary. Ha ha ha! Let us start mixing. You shouldn't move an inch. Just in case. In case of what? In case an unspeakable creature is born, say. Huh? Muscle augmentation interferes with the ecosystem. Not that I care how much is destroyed. Oh, I don't. That's destroying the environment. Don't destroy the environment, Mr. Mad Scientist. Is that okay? Assistant! Give me the fluid mix of violet and brown behind the one behind the second one to the right. Uh, behind the one behind the second one to the right. Oh. Here you go. Hmm. <laughs> you understood me in one go. Such capability. Thank you very much. Now, the question is, to mix or not to mix? Well, assistant? Sure. Hmm, <laughs> I was thinking the same. Kaboom. Wow. Is it complete? <laughs> yes. It's perfect. I shall call it Macho Deluxe. I assume that, that's what DX stands for. That's a pretty plausible cute name for something so icky looking. Wanna taste? Uh, I feel like my body wouldn't handle it. So I'll pass on that this time. Oh, oh, so I'll pass on that. I'll pass on that this time. I see, then I shall drink it. What's it like? <laughs> swelling, swelling. Hmm, this is a success. But you don't look any different. Because I am already well toned, the perfect bodily beauty. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. So then next time, I shall have others test my concoctions. Can I help with that? If I'm the one giving it, there's a 98% chance of rejection, so you must do it for me. <laughs> Please, now excuse me as I experiment to see if I can improve upon this further. I 
feel like uh, mm, I might need to buy another muscle protein because I don't know what else he likes. Holy beef. What was it? Was it food? It likes weird flavors and shapes. Whatever. Hmm. Weird flavors. Maybe it's bleh, maybe lettuce juro. That sounds weird. Here you go. Hmm. Nothing. There's nothing. No. Hmm. Pork is an album, not a food. Uh, pork? Milky cookies. Bread crumbs. What do you like bread crumbs? That's weird, but I don't know. I don't think that would work. Bikini, would he like a bikini? No. Nah. No idea. Have some ramen. Nope. Oh, well, I guess it counts. Even if it's not his favorite stuff, it counts towards giving points towards his friendship. By the way, who do you suppose I should have test my medicines? Um, someone who'll drink it readily and won't be able to punch me to death with augmented muscles, I guess. <laughs> I see. Are you prepared? Now go and take notes. Like a true scientist. Okay, I'll go. And I'll try to log my observations. Neil's nice, so he might work. Oh, it's this guy, the, the store clerk. Oh, welcome. Are you looking for something? Um, will you drink this? Hmm, mm, is it tea? Sure, wow, you're just lying in front of him. Okay, thanks. Or rather, yeah. I'll just have a sip. Look. Hmm. Wow. Is this a success? I should write this down. This is kind of uh, nothing. It's a drink that makes you healthy. Thank you very much. Uh, well, thank you very much. Is he just vibrating? Hmm. Thank you. Say thank you. Thank you. I wonder. Good day. This is the 307 tower information window. Do you have a question? Are you thirsty? Have this tea. You call it tea, but you appear to have added lemon to dirty water, then mixed it in green tea until it had a horribly putrid smell and color. It's tea. Hmm, you appear to really want me to drink it, as I am thirsty. I will have a sip. Ah. Hmm, that tea nashi? Oh, uh, Yukinaga? Give me some! It costs money from the vending machine. Wah! <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> Is he giving it to everyone? Why? That must be all curious. Hmm. The medicine's as much of a loker as he is. <laughs> that was an insult. Uh, does this have any bad effects on the body? Even the numbers were too complex for me to tell. Without it, I'll tell the old guy is an amazing scientist. Rumor says he made an android once. Yeah, I was thinking maybe he's the father of a certain android we know. An android? That's amazing. <laughs> so he'll do strange stuff, but not harmful. Don't think he'll make anything that shortens your lifespan. So will, will he drink it? Scurry off now. <laughs> right, I'm going. So, did, did, did everyone get muscles, or was it just vibrating? I don't know. I assume they, they all got muscles. That's pretty funny. Hmm, so it's a success. Well done, me. Hmm, perfecto. Gosh, you're amazing. However, it is not yet complete. I will continue my research. Well, it's getting dark, so I'm gonna go? Yes. Mwahaha. Alright. Ah, well, actually, is there more? I think we, there is more. Aren't you bursting with excitement? Muscles are filled to burst. I think I'm just gonna get more muscle protein. I don't know. I know that's the thing he likes, so I'm just gonna get that. Put that here. Put 
computer order stuff. I guess maybe refill? Oops, I thought did I buy two by accident? Also protein. Ah, do I need more? I don't know if any other friends or characters like it. And maybe I'll just buy two. Who knows? And that's it, right? Do we have everything? Ah, I feel like I may, might need four of, of everything, but I don't I don't know. I don't think I have enough bits for that, so. I'll, uh, if I need to buy more stuff, I'll just come back. It's fine. Hello, Kiri. Give you more muscles. Even though you already have lots of muscles. Alright. Aha! If it isn't my assistant. Good muscle weather today. Good muscle weather? <laughs> it sure is. Oh, but first, Kiri. I heard you made an android. Is that true? Nah, mm, yes. In my pursuit of muscles, I create a super android that perfectly imitates the muscles of the human body. Where is it? It ran away! Huh? With some blabber about I can't, I can't see the world if I stay with you, Dad. It blew up in a hole in the wall and it ran off at Mach 20. Or Mach 20. Wow, what a way to run away from home. And it called you Dad. But it wasn't perfect at any rate. I hadn't yet finished the mem 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 mimetic, 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 mimetic muscles. Hopefully that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. Well, answers are supposed to be expressionless, emotionless, like iron plate. Ah, but I can't be satisfied until it is perfect. Hmm. But it's more android-like if it is, if it is imperfect. Though, with the latest tech and your knowledge, you could probably make something near human pretty easy. Hmm. An imperfect creation? Perfect? How interesting! Oh, and was this android a girl? <laughs> yes, a female model. About the same age as you. Huh, is she cute? Oh yes, I put a special effort into the quads, which are just magnificently adorable. The quads. Oh, uh, I, I meant more her external appearance. Uh, her hair was pink, her eyes sky blue. I made her to be around 150 centimeters. Hmm, already sounds like a beauty. Do you have a photo? I do not. She ran off the moment I started her up. Oh, too bad. But yes, now with my assistant, I'm making much progress. Well, do you want to keep this up? I'm sure. Would you make another android? Ha! <laughs> If I feel like it. Okay, I'll send a friend request so you can contact me. Yes, good, good. Take this as proof of our contract. Yay. Thank you. We're laughing together. <laughs> Alright, we're friends with the, uh, the doctor, rather. Hmm. And I... Yeah, the android, that's is kind of clear now. It's Ira. Ira and Kiri. Kiri's... Uh, her dad, quote-unquote, I guess. More of a, like, creator, I guess. I don't know. Something like that. Anyway, let's move on. Let's make another uh, another friend here. In which I assume, yeah, she's I don't know. She seems like a sundere. <laughs> what does she like? Uh, let's see, actually. Clark at the CD shop. There's still CDs, <laughs> even in this alternate universe where we have like bit phones and all that. Everything's augmented. Anyway, rude. Good person who likes music and manga. Well, I have manga, I think. Yeah, I have this manga. Oh, but does she like shonen manga or shoujo? I assume shoujo. Here you go, have some manga. Got good taste. Thanks. Have another volume. You keep crawling back t uh, to talk to me. What's the deal? Go somewhere that appreciates your window shopping. Ah, that cold cruelness. Yeah, 
You're Natsukage's sister, all right? Oh yeah, she's uh, she's Natsukage's sister. I forgot about that. Huh? You have business with him? Then don't that then don't ask me. Heck, if I know anything he's up to, then will you be friends with me? Huh? How's that follow? Flat out no. Oh, can't just push you into it, huh? I'm fed up as enough as it is. So quit whatever it is you're doing. All the weird guys I see in this job. Wow, that sounded a lot like him. You really are similar to Natsukage. Don't talk about him around me, alright? Do you not get along? <laughs> Discomfort index rising. You definitely, definitely don't get along. You got that right. You always piss me off, especially lately. He's got a bad attitude, a worse mouth. And he walks around my room with wet clothes. But he's a work a hard worker, and he cares for others sometimes. And he treated me to ice cream one time. Oh yeah? One time. Wait, what what are you trying to make me say? Ah Got kicked or slapped, I don't know. Ah, what the hell? Do you want me to help? Huh? You want to give Natsukage a present, right? And you're not sure what to get. What wonderful sibling love. I'm an only child, so I'm as envious as can be. What? You're scaring me. What are you after? No need for collateral. I'll do literally anything except risk my, risk my life. What? You work on the black market or what? I'm a shut-in. So how can I trust you at all? Huh. But if you help for free, um, I've got to stock the shelves, so see you later. Gotcha! And she wants to give a present to her brother. Interesting. Yes. Give him her stuff in the meantime. I have another manga volume. I'm going out in, into shop to, or rather, bleh, I'm going in, out into town to shop. You ready to go? I'm ready anytime. What? With those clothes? <laughs> Aren't you the one more questionably dressed? I guess so. She looks like she's wearing a bikini. With her like a jacket. Where I'm going, you gotta have this much of an impact or else this place is just too boringly, peace boringly peaceful. I mean, I think it's pretty urban here. But maybe the world has changed while I've holed up inside. Something like that, right? Huh? Eh, what was that? Whatever. Let's go. I guess, and I guess we walk? You look exhausted. You okay? Uh, I thought we were taking the train. Didn't imagine we'd walk. A weakling, huh? You have to do some, some level of exercise. My flat body's gonna blow in the wind one day. Well, you've also got flats. <laughs> what are you saying, Nanashi? Did I hear a chicken squawking? I, I said nothing. You have thin legs, but you've got plenty of muscle. Do you play Sky Sea Run like Natsukake? Huh? Eh, I do my running on land. Ridiculous to get that speed on the surface of the water. I see. You're also a fast walker. Huh. <sighs> what are you sitting around for? Huh? We're going. The sun's about to set. We can't waste a second. Ha! Powerful. I can walk on my own. And she pulls him away. <laughs> oh, good shopping. Things I was just needing to replace and lots of new stuff to boot. My arms. The length of my arms and my muscles are outrageously mismatched right now. Hey, don't you collapse and spill everything all over. Fine. Give me two or three of those bags. You buck kind of a lot. Can you afford all this? Obviously, I don't wait for things to go cheap. They're long out of season by then. So I have to save up to get the newest releases. So what among this is uh, your present for Natsukage? Did you forget? Uh, of course I didn't forget. Yes, I, I understand. You couldn't decide what would make him happiest and ended up buying nothing. Shut your mouth. 
Ah. Come to think of it, I've barely talked to him lately. Probably used to have a better of idea of his likes than I do now. Do you know what he'd want most right now? Um, I actually don't know. I don't know. So I'll just answer honestly. I don't know if Nanashi knows. Yeah, figured. I don't really know where he's going half the time. Well, why not ask Natsukage? I guess I could also analyze him in secret. That ability is still baffling to me. No, you don't need to go that far. I'll only be satisfied figuring it out myself. Why has he gotten to be such a pest? Better than how mopey he used to be, I guess. The pubescent, the pu, puber, the pubescent, pubescent, the pubescent rather, the pubescent mind is like a clear autumn sky. You sure that's the right description? More or less. Well, the sun's coming down. Let's get going. Don't have that much money left either. Okay, I'll check the train times. Huh? We're walking. Didn't I just say I didn't have much money? <laughs> she spent it all on the shopping, so that's why she walks. Come on, walk! No, run! Ah! How dare you make a girl carry half of her shopping! You better take a bath and rub the, those feet when you get home. Sorry. Excuse me. <laughs> I guess she has priorities. She spends a lot of lots of money on what she likes, but when it comes to other things, she's a bit of a cheapskate. Skeep, yeah, cheapskate. You like shonen manga? Nah, she, I guess she doesn't like shonen manga. Hmm. What about a album from a rock band? You like that? A beat pork, huh? Always buy all music online. So it's kind of fun getting a physical CD. That's just not, that's not just for work. Thanks. Oh, finally. Come on, let's go. Mm. Oh, come along. Uh, walking again? Naturally. You don't need to spend any money to walk. But Sakuma, you're only walking because I can't run long distances, distances, right? I feel bad about that. Um, how about I could pay the train uh, pay the train fare myself. Forget it. I don't have time to chatter about this. Come on, get walking. Uh, my legs are still sore. Okay. Oh, so you, she usually runs instead of walk. Basically, giving a courtesy to Nanashi. Uh, I just don't get it. Hard to tell what stuff boys like in the first place. Video games, music, manga. No, oh, everybody's different. Boys can like cute stuff, for instance. Stuff is stuff. And what do you like? <laughs> the whole wide world. That's not helpful. At this rate, the sun. Oh, Sakuma? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Oh, it's you. What are you doing out here? We have sis. Huh? What's with that wording? What are you doing here? Eh? Does it matter? Not to you. Huh? What's with that wording? Do you always have to talk so dismissively? What? Don't you talk the same way? That's the pot calling of the kettle black to tell me to be nicer. I'm saying to treat girls with a little more respect. Respect? What? So treat you like an old lady? Who are you calling an old lady? You don't say that to a lively 17 year old girl. Stop. Fighting's bad, okay? Hmm. You shouldn't stick around with her either. This wants you as a luggage carrier anyway, I bet. One comment too far. If you're leaving, then beat it. Right, right. See ya. <sighs> Jeez. Do you want to cry? What? You're asking me? Uh, it looked like you were holding back. Over there, let's move in that black back alley. Back, we're going to the back alley. Well, suspicious. Uh, I can't believe a kid like you saw that. Total embarrassment. I, I didn't think you were the type to cry and shout, so I was kind of an angsty. Angst, angsty? Angsty. Antsy, 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 antsy. Antsy. Two. Shut up. Don't talk to me. Sorry. 
but I think I know why you two are out at odds. What? Sakuma, do you envy Natsukage? Huh? Oh, uh, maybe that's not the best phrasing. I'm jealous? Spiteful? You're such an idiot, but you're right. You ever felt inferior to someone? All the time, especially Nanashi. <laughs> hmm, you don't let, look like it, but I guess you got a human side too. I took up running in middle school. I kept going, but came to a stop at prefect, uh, pre prefectural tournaments. But that, after he started that thing, he got up to the nationals in like two years. It's a different field, but of course I was envious. Sibling inferi inferiority, sibling inferiority, huh? I guess that's unavoidable. Completely. We're related, so of course I'm with him or watching him all the time. Well, look at it another way. Maybe in Sky Sea Run, Matsukage is better, but I think you're better at reception and running long distance on land, and you're pretty. <laughs> what? That was a sudden. If your parents try to compare you, then tell them that. I'm, focus on, I'm focusing on this, not that. Of course people are good at different things. That's a naive way of looking at it. Mm. <laughs> Negative thoughts are bad for your skin and health. And time spent on Envy isn't gonna accomplish anything. Rise to new challenges and the stuff you can do. Ah, <sighs> you're, really, you're really a shining example. Huh? Am I balding? Is it hereditary? Her her oh, so many words I can't pronounce. Hereditary? Not your scalp. I mean your escapism. Wow. I never thought myself as a Houdini. No, not that kind of escapism, Nanashi. Ah. Uh, <sighs> yeah, I'm not him. And he's not me. I've been slacking on practice too, so that's putting even more distance between us. Still, we had another fight. That's just made it harder to decide what to give him. Well, how about something handmade? Handmade? Nothing shows your feelings better than a handmade gift. Plus, they're totally unique from anything else in the world. <laughs> a handmade gift. I see. Talk with me for a little longer. Okay. And then time passed and... Thanks for uh, a lot today. I'll do my best. Okay, I hope it goes well. Alright. Still need to give her stuff though. I have another... what is it? This one. B pork. Well, did it go well? Hmm. I haven't given it to him yet. Eh? Ah, I guess it's hard to... after you fought, right? No. I only just finished it, is why. But, yeah, it's hard to hand it over too. Just go right in there and do it. Better to regret doing it than not. Why are you assuming there'll be regret involved? Well, look, you don't have much time. What are you talking about? What? Why are you here? Forgot my lunch. Ah, oh, right. Okay. Uh, I'll be going. Hold on a second. What? Ah. Thank you. Take this. Ah. Don't don't throw things at me. Ah. What? A keychain? Handmade? Yeah. Made it myself. Got a problem with that? Give it back if you don't want it. Didn't say that. Uh, hmm. This is pretty good. Just didn't like it having it thrown thrown at me. Ow! How dare you throw things at a girl? He throws it back. Oh, he throws a box. A box? For your birthday the other day. Since you got me something last year. Oh, uh, I... Gosh. A keychain? A cheap one you could get for 100 yen? And it's a pink animal? What's the meaning of this? Not even a grade schooler would use this. What? If, if you don't want it, give it back. I will not... Well, I, I gave you what I wanted to, so I'm going. Goodbye. Don't get run over by a car. Ah, 
Unbelievable. He really pisses me off. <laughs> I think that went well. Is that how you saw it? Well, because you look happy, Sakuma. Uh, I guess. Yeah, I don't feel so bad. I'm glad that it ended without anyone dying. <laughs> it seemed pretty bloodthirsty. Here, you can have one. Oh, a keychain. Wow, it's got a bunny on it. Cute. What? You can toss it if you like. Oh, well, I kind of would like to be friends, too. Huh? <laughs> Did I get too cocky? Here. Oh, a request. Okay, I'll do it. Thank you very much. And we're friends. Hooray! Gah, too happy. Look, I've got work to do. So get out of here if you're not buying. I'll come back soon. Yeah, yeah. Hope to see you in here. Alright. And it turns out... Good. Even though they, they still fight like siblings, they still love each other. I guess that's how siblings are. At least, I don't know, at least in tropes, I guess. In the, in the media and all that. Tends to happen. Even though they hate each other, they also get along. Weirdly enough. Anyway. <laughs>